you're always amazing. And and it's nice of you to say that. But you're a, a unique comic. No one does. It's very difficult to to do what you do comedically. You're not like a joke guy. It's always long form. It always comes back around. You have a certain style to what you did. Now, when you started out, was that what it was? No, I mean, everybody's sort of terrible when they start right. out and you kind of figure out who you are. I feel like I had a fast turnaround for the time. But, but when I started, there wasn't really a lot of comedy clubs around the right. country. There's a lot of comedy clubs in the Bay Area and you could really make a living working three weekends a month just in the San Francisco where you could sleep in your own bed and drive out right. you know, to right. do the, the shows. The satellite gigs. And then, and then I would go to Boston for three weeks or four weeks and couch surf and right. do some gigs or go up to Seattle. Um, but yeah, I started out there and it took me probably four years to sort of figure out what I was doing on stage. And then once that happened, it was pretty fast. Like a year and a half later, I won the San Francisco Comedy Competition, which at the time right. was a huge deal. It was, and you could headline all the clubs in the Bay Area. You were an instant headliner there, right? And draw. By the time I did it, it was starting to wind down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like, like who? Do you remember who was in your finals? Ah, uh, not really. I am not. Sh I think it was Eddie Strange. I think Dana Gould might have been in that year, and. I, I'm not positive. What do you think about, like, when I went to San Francisco, I was there for two years, uh, and it was in the 90s already. But there's something about what that city, how that city supports comedy that really, because you look at the comics that sort of came out of there, and they're all very thoughtful. They're very unique. They're not, uh, they're not, it's not like New York where you're on, on a defensive all the time and you're just punching jokes. There's an environment yeah. there that sort of wants you to indulge yourself. Well, New York is very, I find it to be kind of combatty. The guys who come out of there, they're used to kind of, you it's go like, on and you talk boxing. to the crowd and you deal yeah. with them. Yeah. And in San Francisco, it, there was more, I think, and I and I think it was just the sensibility of the comedians as well. I mean, it's the, the people who own the comedy club, but the comedians, they had their own kind of whatever, cliquish, snobbish, whatever. Yeah. However, you could put a positive spin on it and a negative spin on it, but they put an emphasis on try and be creative and do be yourself or do something different. I mean, yeah. the only real way that you can do something different is to be yourself. Right. Um, and so That's true, isn't it? I think it's true, but what do I know? <laughs> You know a lot. You've lived a long time already. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you See, now this... that, you, I don't think you realized was an insult, but yeah. that actually hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Lock the gate! <laughs>